Damn, Jacob. And this is what to do if your AX60 Plus displays a fault 16. There are two potential reasons for the AX60 Plus to show a fault 16 code on the screen. These are, the sensor unit requires zero and span calibration adjustment. See the service manual in the link below for guidance on how to carry out this process. The other reason is the CO2 sensor alarm directions have been incorrectly set. To fix this problem, we must first power cycle the device. This can be done by switching the power off and on again. This is done because we need to check if the fault is an old or a new code. If it's old, it will clear once it resets. Wait for the device to start up. Once it is complete, you will be able to see the sensors displayed on the screen. To access the top level menu, you must hold down the cycle and cancel buttons at the same time. Pressing the cycle button a further six times will take you to the sensor config, which you must press accept to enter. Press the cycle button two more times so that it shows alarm direction and press accept to access this menu. Now from here you can select the sensor that has been alarming. This is shown on the display. Press cycle until the relevant arrow is selected and the relevant sensor is selected. In this case, it's CO2 sensor, which is sensor two. Therefore, the alarm direction should be up. We press accept to select it and change the arrow direction to up and then press accept again. This tells the unit that the alarm is set to go off when it goes above the alarm set points. Press the cancel button five times to return to the screen where the sensors are displayed. Acknowledge any faults with the accept button and now you can power cycle the device one more time. As you can now see, the device is now working properly again. If this doesn't work, the device will need to be calibrated or recalibrated. Follow the link in the description if you need a guide on how to do this. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has been useful to you. For any more useful information, additional links and any extra FAQs, check the link in the description below. Please don't hesitate to contact customer support for any other information or any other issues that you have.